Hi there, in this video I'm going to discuss points of intersection. So what are they? Points of intersection basically are points where curves or lines meet or intersect. So I uh, have a diagram over here showing two lines which meet or intersect at a point and I've signified the point that they meet with a red circle. So this point highlighted in red is our intersection point. Now the point of intersection must satisfy both equations and this point can be found by solving equations simultaneously. So if you have two equations and if the given equations intersect at a point or a multiple of points, you, you can find these points by solving the given equations simultaneously. Let's go through an example. So example one, find the points of intersection for the following curves and in part a, y is equal to x squared and the second equation reads y plus 3x is equal to 4. So let's have a go uh, solving this example. So back to the paper and pen. So here are the two equations, y is equal to x squared and y plus 3x is equal to 4. So we need to solve these two equations simultaneously to find the points of intersection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name the first equation number 1 and the second equation number 2. Now I have created a video on solving simultaneous equations so if you haven't watched that video uh, I would encourage you to watch it so I'll provide a link to that video in the description below. However let me show you how I would solve this pair of equations. So um, one of the equations, equation number one, is already rearranged for y so I have y equals x squared so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put y equals x squared straight into equation 2 and my idea is to find the x values first. So I'm going to put y is equal to x squared into equation number 2. So if I put y equals x squared into number 2, y is x squared plus the 3x and that is equal to 4 on the right hand side and let me create a quadratic so if I take the 4 to the left hand side I'm going to end up with x squared plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0 now from here on you can use the quadratic formula or you can factorize this quadratic so this quadratic is factorizable so if I were to factorise this quadratic, the two factors would be x plus 4 and x minus 1. So from this equation, I've got two values of x. So either x plus 4 is equal to 0. And when I rearrange from here on, x will be minus 4. So this is one of the values of x. Or x minus 1 is equal to 0 which means x is equal to plus 1. So I have two values of x. Now don't stop here because you need to calculate the y coordinates of the points of intersection. So I have two x coordinates that means that I should have two corresponding y coordinates. So to find the y coordinates I'm going to put these x values into equation 1. So put x values into equation number 1. So equation number 1 reads y is equal to x squared. So first of all, let me find the y value corresponding to x is equal to minus 4. So when x is minus 4, when I substitute y will be x which is minus 4 squared so don't forget the squared minus 4 squared being plus 16 so this is the y value corresponding to x is equal to minus 4 let's find the y value corresponding to x is equal to 1 so when x is equal to 1 when I substitute into this equation y will be x which is 1 squared so don't forget the squared 
1 squared being 1. So 1 being the y value corresponding to x is equal to 1. So let's summarize. So we have two points. So the first point has coordinates x which is minus 4 and the y value is 16 and the second point has coordinates x being 1 corresponding y 1. So we have two intersection points in this case for this pair of equations. Further to that you can check these answers by substituting these answers into the given equations and if the left hand side matches the right hand side then your solutions are true so I would encourage you checking your solutions for example let me take the first one minus 4 and 16 so if I put x is minus 4 and y is 16 into equation 1 say y which is 16 okay so 16 is equal to x which is minus 4 squared minus 4 squared is 16 so the first solution for the point of intersection is true and do the same for the other one so check these two solutions with both equations and check whether the left equates to the right so back to the screenshot so we have another example a part b so part b is the question is the same, so we need to find the points of intersection and the first equation reads y is equal to x squared plus 5x. Second equation reads y minus x is equal to 12. So let's have a go at solving this pair of equations. So back to the paper and pen. So here are the two equations. So I'm going to name the first one equation 1, the second one equation 2. So once again it's up to you how you solve your equations. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take equation 1 because it's already rearranged for y and I'm going to put that into equation 2. So I'm going to put y is equal to x squared plus 5x in equation 2. So in other words, if I replace the y by x squared plus 5x in number 2, we're going to have y, y is x squared plus 5x, minus the x, and that is equal to 12 on the right hand side. And if I take this 12 to the left, so let's try and form a quadratic. So I have x squared, so x squared. 5x minus x is 4x and by moving the 12 from the right to the left hand side it will be minus 12 and that equates to 0 on the right. So from here on you can solve this equation either by using the quadratic formula or this quadratic is factorizable. So if I factorize the left hand side the two factors will be x plus 6 and x minus 2 so these should be the two factors so from this equation I've got two values of x so either x plus 6 is equal to 0 which means that x is minus 6 so that should be the first value of x or x minus 2 is equal to 0 which when I rearrange x is equal to plus 2. So these should be the 2x values. Let's work out the corresponding y values. So I'm going to put the x values into equation number 1. So put x values into equation number 1. So equation number 1 reads y is equal to x squared plus 5x. So let me copy that down. So y is x squared plus 5x. So first of all, let's calculate the y value corresponding to x being minus 6. So when x 
is minus 6. When I substitute here, y will be x, which is minus 6 squared, plus the 5 into x being minus 6. So if we expand the brackets, minus 6 squared is 36. 5 into minus 6, minus 30. So the y value is going to be 6. So this is the y value corresponding to x being minus 6. Let's also calculate the y value when x is 2. So in this case, when x is equal to 2, when I substitute into the same equation, y will be x, which is 2, squared, plus 5 into x, which is 2. So if we multiply here, 2 squared is 4, 5 into 2 is 10, 4 plus 10, 14. So 14 is the y value corresponding to x is equal to 2. So hence I've got two points. So let me summarize. So the first point has coordinates x being minus 6 and the y value is plus 6. And the second point has coordinates x which is 2 corresponding y 14. So two points of intersection for part B. So that completes part B and that also sadly ends this video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do practice related questions and I hope to see you again. Thank you.